I'm Randy and I make candy and today I'm making peanut brittle. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery confidants and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. My friends Jim and June sent me a recipe for cashew brittle, so that's what we're doing here today. Sort of. I'm actually making peanut brittle, since I don't have any cashews, but I have plenty of peanuts. You can make this with whatever kind of nuts you want though, and it'll still be awesome. Okay, let's make this happen. For this recipe, you'll need 320 grams of granulated sugar, 170 mils of light corn syrup, 59 mils of water, 220 grams of peanuts, one quarter teaspoon of salt. If you're using salted peanuts, you can leave this out. 115 grams of room temperature butter, and one half teaspoon of baking soda. I've got a secret ingredient here that I'm gonna add, but it's only going on a small portion of the brittle, and at this point, I'm not gonna recommend that you include it. It's powdered Carolina Reaper peppers. This was sent to me by Jody, who also sent some fresh reapers and habaneros. I thought it might be fun to add a little bit to this recipe and see how it turns out. The tasting portion of this episode could be interesting. You'll also need two sheet pans that are the same size, some parchment paper or a silpat, a saucepan, a spoon or spatula, and a candy thermometer. Okay, let's make some candy. Line the inside of one of the sheet pans with silpat or greased parchment, or you can grease the pan directly if you prefer. Liberally grease the underside of the other sheet pan. I'm using canola oil here, but you can use butter or shortening or lard or whatever slippery food substance you'd like. This part's optional, but you'll see what we do with this later. Place the saucepan over medium heat and add the sugar, corn syrup, salt, and water. Stir until the sugar's dissolved. Add the butter and continue cooking, stirring occasionally. Once the mixture comes to a boil, put a lid on the pan to wash any sugar from the sides. After a minute or two, remove the lid and put the thermometer in the pan. Make sure that the bottom of the thermometer doesn't touch the pan to prevent false temperature readings. I'm sure you've all heard the saying, a watch pot never boils, meaning be patient and let things happen. At least I think that's what it means. Well, just as important here is that a watched pot never boils over. You can see how this expands as it boils. Keep an eye on it. If it starts to get too close to the rim, take it off the heat, lower your burner setting, and put the saucepan back on once it simmers down. When the mixture reaches 280 degrees, which is the soft crack stage, mix in the peanuts. Continue cooking, stirring frequently to keep the peanuts from burning, until the mixture reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit, also known as the hard crack stage. Remove the thermometer from the pan and the pan from the stove. Stir in the baking soda. The baking soda is a kind of leavening agent, like the yeast in bread making. It puffs up the mixture a bit so it's not too hard to chew. Pour the mixture onto the lined sheet pan. Spread it out with a spoon or spatula. Use the other sheet pan to press the peanuts down into a single layer. I'm gonna separate out a little bit here on the end and add the secret ingredient. Let it cool, then break the brittle into whatever size you'd like. And that's it. Okay, these are ready. Let's have a taste. First, a piece without the death powder. Slunch of ah. Crunchy, peanutty, sweet and salty. Everything you'd want from peanut brittle. Here's some of the extreme brittle. Thank you, Jody. I hope. This has just a little bit of the powder on it, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous right now. Slant you Mmm. 
Okay, yeah, it took a second, but man, that's hot. <clears throat> but not too hot. I mean, it, that's acceptable to me. Just a little bit. There, there were some spots that had more of the powder on it. I would not eat that. But with just a little tiny bit, that's actually very good. Nice and sweet and salty and spicy. It really comes together well. I, I like that. Okay, seriously, thank you, Jody. That was awesome. Whether you make these with peanuts, cashews, or any other kind of nuts, you really ought to give these a try. They're really tasty. And as always, if you enjoyed our time together, please like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell if you want to be notified when new videos come out. I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own brittle, as well as suggestions for what you'd like to see in future videos. As I was making this, I realized that I'm kind of like peanut brittle. I try to be sweet, but I can't help being a little bit nutty. I hope you join me next time. This was sent to me by Jody. It puffs up the mixture a bit, so it doesn't... It's doing so well. I'm Randy, and I make... No, I'm not. I don't know who I am today. Today, I'm making peanut brittle. Stick around.